Hello everyone. In this uh, video tutorial, we'll discuss about queues, queue in system array lock. So here, if you see, we are following, as I said, this uh, vlsiverify.com that we are, uh, you know, basing for our, uh, that's the base for our uh, tutorials. Uh, according to that, we have covered uh, till this uh, associative array. We're supposed to be covering array manipulation methods. Uh, instead of covering this, uh, I will be jumping to system very log queues. The reason behind, I will revisit this uh, array manipulation methods because uh, if you see this array manipulation method, uh, here we are using some uh, queues here. So if you see this and I will show one thing. Uh, see, if you use this pop print, it is a method or it is a function of queue. So if you have the understanding of the queue, then it is easy uh, for you to understand uh, this manipulation methods, array locator method. So basically array manipulation methods we call because this array manipulation methods in that we have two types like uh, element locator and index locator. Uh, and we can also manipulate the contents that we will see anyway later on. But uh, in this tutorial, we are going to cover this uh, system very log queues. Okay. So let's uh, go to system very log queues. Here, if you see the definition, a queue is a variable size. A queue is a variable size and ordered collection of elements. Homogeneous elements means same type. Like integer, all will be like uh, integer type only. So homogeneous elements. So let's start this one. We have uh, another before we go to that. To understand, it is considered the same as a single dimensional unpacked array. So this is just like single dimensional unpacked array. Earlier uh, videos we have seen static array when we have covered. Uh, there we had seen this single dimensional unpacked array. Uh, where to, let's say, if this is the variable, uh, gross is the variable. Towards the right side, if we put in a square bracket, uh, uh, that is like, uh, you know, unpacked array means towards right hand side to the variable towards right hand side. If you keep array, if you keep uh, something that is unpacked array, if you keep left hand side, then it is a packed array. So it, they are like queues are like uh, single dimensional unpacked arrays, but they grow. So how they grow that, we will discuss here. So basically, there are two types of queues. One is bounded queue. The other is unbounded queue. If you see this example uh, in bounded queue, this queue depth we have already uh, like uh, declared. Queue, what is the queue uh, size? Our queue depth, it is already declared. So that is a bounded queue. So where it is not declared, the depth or the size of the queue is not declared, that is unbounded queue. With examples, you will see. And here we have to understand these methods here. Pop front, push front. So the way pop front is there, we have pop back. Pop front, pop back. And we have a push front. And we also have push back. Push front and push back. These methods or these functions are also available in the unbounded queue. Okay. What it does is push front. If any element you are trying to put in, in this, uh, you know, uh, location, See so here the depth is 8, right? So this is a zeroth location, first location, second location, like that locations are there. 
if any new item you keep with the help of this push friend method then that element will be like all the time itself keeping up the other elements will be pushed back so so like uh, let's say first uh, very beginning you have used one to push inside this one will be sitting here next time when you are trying to push five let's say this one will be pushed here this five will be in the front so when we use this push front so when we use push back like a new element will uh, push push front what it does what i said the new element whatever you are going to keep inside this array it is going to keep all the time up uh, you know at the beginning kind of thing at the front the beginning or at the front what i mean is if you are keeping initially one only since that is the only uh, first element so it will be here let's say now next time you are going to keep five with the help of this push friend if you are going to keep push uh, with the help of this push friend method that new five will be trying to be here five and the one will be pushed back here whereas this will work in reverse way push back what it does initially you have kept one now the second the time when you are trying to keep the five what it does it push back I mean, one will be still in the first position only but the five will be uh, you know it is sent back so like that this they, they will be working like that now when we want to read out like pop friend so if you want to read out if you do the pop friend what it does is it only this front elements are read out only one element at a time and also that is removed when you do the pop friend like here total eight are the read elements if you do one time pop friend that element will be read out and it will be removed from here meaning the size will become now uh, seven it is initially eight here in this example it will be it will become seven with the help of this pop friend with the help of pop back what happens is from the you know end it will be reading out and that read out will be deleted again like let's say here we have elements here and this is the last one so that last one is read out first pop back from the back it is reading out and that will be removed also that space is removed so like that the same happens here in unbounded queue as well so let's see this uh, this is how we declare this is the data type like uh, in this case it's a bit is a data type byte is a data type right and uh, the variable name that is here is a q underscore one any name you can give here variable name within the square brackets within the square brackets we will put the dollar so if you put the dollar and then that is like a unbound i mean so this is the q that indicates it's a q so here if you see this is unbounded q we are calling unbounded q and if you see the bounded q here this is the bounded q M meaning this starts from zero and ends at nine like that it is and uh, how is that assignment uh, you are carrying out if you see here this directly you can keep like this uh, since this is a uh, unbounded queue you are uh, you can keep like uh, three variables if it is like a dollar uh, let's say one it is going to have only two uh, elements so like two locations two indexes uh, in that case three variables you cannot keep so that is how the declaration is done we will see with examples and uh, we have some methods like uh, we discussed already push back pop back 
push front, <coughs> pop front. Apart from that, we have the size and shuffle and delete, delete and uh, this delete with index and the size. This we have seen uh, here in the in case of associative array. Uh, there we have seen this. Only new uh, methods are these are the new methods. Push back with the in uh, this is the item that we want to push. Uh, and uh, if you see here, uh, push front, push front, the item that we want to push front. So same here, pop back. In the pop back, we don't use the item that we want. Simply pop back. And when we are reading out, we don't use the item. Only when we are pushing the item that we want to write, write inside that queue that we put here. Push back. This is the important observation. When we do the push back or push front, then we are using the item here. Item means whatever the uh, value that we want to write. Whereas while we read, maybe you are reading from the back or maybe front, you don't need to put here. But the observation here is returns and removes the last item of the queue it removes it also remo removes that one as i said here if a total eight are there now you are performing the uh, pop back from the back it will re read and it also removes this location so total out of eight if it is doing that pop back then only seven will remain so we'll see with examples same thing same thing is with the uh, pop front it returns that is uh, that red out is uh, written uh, it is taken out and it removes that first item like that and coming to the shuffle method in a random manner like if you have kept in some fashion and some other fashion if you want that is in random way it shuffles the contents of the queue Size, you know, already, what is the size? I mean, uh, how many elements are there that it will uh, push? I mean, it will show. If you do the delete, this also has come in associated array. It will delete all the elements. If you mention the index, like, uh, you know, which position, like uh, first position, second position, third position, like that, that index, if you mention that particular index and uh, will be deleted, deletes an item at a specified index like that. So this is the example. Uh, this is big uh, example. I mean, several things are there here. Okay, we'll discuss one by one. Here, if you see uh, string, this Q is of type string, animal underscore Q is a, or Q, or Q, system very like Q. And uh, the data type of that is a string. So what we are going to do for the very first thing is that line number six, we are going to print out the size of this uh, queue. So initially nothing is there, it, it will be giving zero. And uh, when you do this animal underscore queue, animal underscore queue, you are assigning this tiger and this lion then since it is type string, it takes string strings here. Now, if you print out the size, it will be two, like zero, one. So two elements are there. The size has become the two. Now, if what we are doing here, animal underscore Q dot insert. So this is one function. Uh, this function uh, here we must out. So this is the function. So if you mention, you have to mention the index where you want to and what is the value of that. So in here in this example, at index one, we want to keep. What we want to keep? Elephant. So here zero, one is there. Na? Already we have initialized this animal underscore Q. So at the first index, this is zeroth index. This is the first index. At first index, what we are doing, we are trying to put this elephant then this automatically what is existing at the first index it will be moved to the second index so like that so we are inserting at index one three four these these are the 
uh, elements that we want to keep elephant fox zebra so already existing two are there in addition to this two three more elements we have kept the size has become now five now for each loop already we have discussed in the previous videos so it will iterate through the index uh, values in ascending order so then it will be displaying now uh, here to access the item from the queue we only have to put animal underscore queue that is a queue variable name and what is the index so at that index what we have is a string type so for that format specifier is a percentage s so like that now to delete the item what we are doing delete line number 26 if you observe this animal underscore q is a variable name that q variable name dot delete and in, within the parenthesis we are keeping the this index value so whatever at index 2 is there that will be deleted after deleting if you print out only left out will be printed so that we will see with the uh, while we simulate this one now delete complete queue so as said uh, if you mention the delete index which variable you want to delete that we can with the help of index we can uh, do that if you do not mention the index simply if you use the method delete then what it does it deletes all the contents here delete complete queue so now that this com uh, this queue has become now empty so the size will be zero here because with the help of delete uh, the, this method we have deleted all the contents of that queue now again we are assigning here same this uh, initially what we have done tiger and lion and then what we are doing here is push back methods we are using push back so this elephant what it does is at the uh, at uh, index zero tiger is there at index two lion is there when you push back this elephant it will be going to this index uh, zero one two at uh, two it will be going this elephant so if you print out what happens first tiger lion then elephant will be seen so and push front method this fox what uh, uh, happens is zero to location this tiger at first index lion is there at second index elephant because of this pushback now because of push front this fox will be occupying the zeroth index others will be moved towards the right that is what here now pop back method if you use this pop back method then what it does is it it removes the last uh, entry that is there like fox uh, fox occupied the first i mean zeroth index tiger at first index lion is at the second index third is this elephant right so this elephant pop back from the pop back we are doing this will be removed when you print with the help of for each then what happens you will not see the elephant here you will see fox tiger and lion because pop back this this has removed the last uh, entry and pop front if you do the front one this fox will go you will remain with your tiger and lion so that's how it is going to work let's copy this entire thing Let's go to EDA Playground. And uh, here, uh, let's paste that one. This is the very thing that we have copied from there. And we have to select the tool, Aldera Rivera Pro. And then let's run this one. So, Run. Let's click on run. So let's analyze what we have discussed. Whether are we getting initial size is zero? 
So that is exactly this one here. This one, line number eight. Initially, nothing is there that is empty, zero. Now, now at line number 10, we have assigned here two elements, tiger and lion. So size has become two. The size has become two. At line number 11, that what the size that we are printing is two. Now what we are doing, we are uh, at line number 14, 15, 16, if you see, at index one elephant, at index three fox, at index four zebra that we are inserting. So if you see this one here, at zeroth index tiger is there, at one this lion is there. Now what happens, at one this elephant will come, lion will be going to the, uh, this one, uh, lion will be going to the third index. So third, what we are doing, then fox we are inserting. So fox, if you are keeping, then this will be moved again uh, to the right. So then at fourth, we are keeping zebra again. Further, it will be moved. Then what is seen here, tiger, and then elephant, fox, zebra, and finally lion. So total, we're supposed to be having here including this uh, existing two and then this uh, three, total five. So let's see here. Mm. This of, after insert at line number 17, if you see, we are seeing the size. So that is this size. Size is five. That is correct. Total elements are become five now. now. Uh, if you see this one here, uh there is uh, I, uh, some some mistake i made here i said lion will be the coming the last so let's analyze what is that i made mistake so tiger is in its position zero position at first index this elephant is in, uh, inserted so that is correct uh, uh, it, uh, this will be moved to the second. Oh, that's the mistake. This is moved to the second uh, index. Lion will be moved to the second index. So that is correct. Now at the third index, this fox will be moved. At third index, fox will be moved. And uh, at fourth index, zebra will be moved. So that's all. Uh, what happens if you overwrite that also we will see later on. Like what I mean is, okay, a tiger uh, is at zeroth index. At first index, this elephant is kept. If you keep, uh, at, uh, like this is kind of like already at first index, this is existing, lion is existing. But what you are doing at first index only, you are again trying to insert this elephant. It is moved automatically. It is moved to the uh, right upper index. So it is moved to the second index. So again, don't. It is not required to, uh, you know, demonstrate this one. From this example only, we can understand. This is already at the first index, right? When you are trying to index at first in, when you when you are trying to insert at first index this elephant, what happened to the, the already existing uh, element at the first index that had moved to the upper index, that is second. So that is what we see here. This line is moved to the second upper index. So now, next what we are doing, this is about the printing out. This print out, because of this only, this these prints we see here on the console. Now accessing the queue item. So if you try to access what is there at uh, index two, index four. So from here, index two, we have the lion and index four, zebra. So that is what it, here we see. How we access particular particular index. So that is how we, we access. Now coming to this delete. Line number 28, if you see this delete of two. 2 means index 2. At index 2, whatever is there that has been deleted. So index 2, we have line, line here. So that line is deleted. If that is deleted and then if you're printing out, you will be there with tiger, elephant, fox, zebra. 
so let's see here tiger elephant fox zebra so that is as expected and if you delete all of them and if you try to print the size it will be zero size because you have deleted all of them zero size now again you are assigning tiger and lion again you are assigning to this q animal underscore this q so now you are push back you are doing push back so this elephant will be going to the second index so let's see when we print out here what is happening tiger lion and then elephant so that is because of this pushback. Now, when you do the push front, this fox will be coming to the front. Front means here, before even before tiger, fox will be there, then tiger, lion, then elephant. So let's see, first fox, tiger, lion, then elephant. So that is because of this uh, push front. Now, if you do the push uh, pop back, you do the pop back here. From the back, what you are doing, you are uh, eliminating this one. So you will be there with fox, tiger, and lion because of this pop back. Now, because of this pop front, at line number 56, we have pop front. So fox will go. Now we will have only tiger and lion. So that's how these methods are working. All right. So let's see uh, what else to cover here. This is about shuffling. So mm -hmm. example of shuffle method. We'll see this one in next video because uh, shuffle and other things are there to discuss here. So we'll see that one in the next video. If you have any doubts, please post them in comment section. Uh, thank you.